Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Factorio. I am out here at our copper production area, and I am outside our wall. And that is because we need this copper down here. We There's just no two ways about it. So, it's the closest copper that we have, it looks like, and we're gonna go get it. So, I am going to clear out these biters, and then hopefully we will have a good chunk of copper, a big patch that we can work with. So let's get that done. got most of the biters cleared out there are still some left up here and there are some left down here but I'll take care of them later I think we cleared this copper patch which is 5.8 million copper which is fantastic however it's not that big so we could actually do with some more uh, copper because we, we can't have that many uh, miners on there but that is also something we'll do later so I think now that we've cleared out most of the uh, the biters uh, over here I think it's time to set up our real rail network and get that copper moving over here and being dropped off and smelted if that's where we want our copper smelting to be I'm not really sure I am not really sure we could fill in this bit and then let it run out here and then we can have could have the copper smelting over here that is a possibility we could also just leave it where it is i guess that is also a possibility we are a little, little bit 
cramped for space here, I think. It might be an idea not to have them there, but because we would need several train stations here. But we'll see. We'll see. So let me have a think about that and I'll be back. All right. So I have kind of decided that I want to move copper smelting over here, I think. But I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think that's what I want to do. But for now, I have started setting up a defensive line here around our new copper patch. And we're going to finish that up real quick. And is that wide enough? Yeah, that's wide enough. And then we'll start working on getting our copper back to the base so that we can make use of it. No point in going grabbing it if we're not going to start using it, right? So there we go. And it takes a while to set these up, but it's worth it in the long in the long run. Let's get some power down here. And I'm just putting them at exactly the spacing that they can, so that everything is covered. So I don't suddenly end up with one that's not covered or some stupid thing like that. Actually, up here. There, and we're almost done. Almost done. And then we have our copper bat patch defended. Very good. And since we are out where it's a little bit dangerous, we have biters pretty close by. I think we're going to build a wall around here as well not taking any chances there hopefully we have enough wall ah, i think we do. i think we do there. all right so there we go. We have a little enclave here, and we can tear all of this stuff down, I think. That. And that. Oh, took away the power. That's not going to help. Uh, let's stick a power pole there. All right. So this is now defended. Do we have any miners with us? Yes, we do. We do have some. So let's start setting up here. I think I want them coming out to the side. So let's just start here. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. And, oops, keep going. Obviously, we won't be getting the materials just yet. We need to get the rails over here and all that good stuff. But it doesn't hurt setting these things up. So that they're ready. And we don't have enough belt with us either, so. It'll be a little while before we get the benefits from this, but it's gonna be worth it. There are quite, we can fit quite a few miners on this patch. 
quite a few miners. That's good. That is good. All right. So let's see. You will come. I think I'll just run all of them this way. And then we're almost out of belt. We have nowhere near enough belt with us. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so we are starting to set this stuff up. And we'll put our train station down here somewhere and run it back. But we don't didn't bring any rails, which wasn't very smart. But it is what it is. So I am going to run back and get some rails and then we'll get going on that. See you in a second, guys. All right, we're back and I have picked up a bunch of rails and some signals and stuff. So hopefully we can get this built. But before we start doing that, I just want to take a look because I want to be using electric furnaces. And we need 24 of them in the line. Three, four, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 four. I think. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That was actually twenty-five. All right. So. We could fit copper smelting in here and then have it run through here, uh, uh, landfill this up and let it come into a bus or a train station. Because I do, even though this series was initially called Bus in it, I am thinking that trains are fun, right? Trains are fun. So I think I want to do trains quite a bit. Yeah, I do. I do. Hmm. <clears throat> this is rough. This is always a hard spot when you decide that, okay, we have everything we need now to start building our mega base, right? Like mega mega base. And I think we're there now. So but well, we are there now. Except for our uh, personal robo ports and stuff, but that's almost done. We're doing the portable fusion reaction reactor now. And next we're going to do the Mark II power armor. And then we're basically there. We already researched the exoskeletons, I believe. Yeah, they're there. So, yeah. So we are there. We do want to get this Cobarex enrichment stuff going as well. There, there's so much that we want to do, and we want the Robo Part Mark II. So first we'll get the Power Armor Mark II, then we'll get the personal Robo Part Port Mark II, and we'll build some exoskeletons and stuff, and then we will be flying along, which is going to be fantastic. So if we put smelting here, I mean we'll have this entire area to build on for now at least, right? Maybe we should put the smelting down here. That could actually be quite nice. Put the smelting down here and then have trains going. Because this is a pretty big copper patch. Which we'll be utilizing for a long time. I think that's what I want to do. And then we'll ship the... Yeah. Then we'll ship the ore or the, the plates out to where they're needed. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's pick these up again.
Come on. So building a, I want to build a grid pattern um, rail system, right? And if we look over here, I am thinking that we Yeah, three uh, robo ports in between each. That would work. So basically, what I mean is we would have, let's say, a rail running here, and then it would split out here and up to here or something where the next robo port would be, and then there would be a crossing section again I think that would be nice yeah oh it's dark all right so we have the personal reactor or, or nuclear reactor so let's get the power armor mark 2 let's see what does it take to make the nuclear reactor thingy where is it there? All right. Do we actually have what we need to make one of those? Not half bad. Okay. So, you know what? I am going to research the Power Armor Mark II, and I am going to research the personal robo board mark 2 in between episodes and then in the next episode we will be fully equipped i think that's the plan i think that's a very good plan because we'll be running a lot faster and we will be having having our robots that can put down stuff for us and oh it's going to be a wonderful wonderful life yeah that's the plan so next time we are going to get our personal gear sorted out. Uh, well, I, I'll sort it out in between episodes and I will show you what I have come up with. So yeah. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.